I'm saying that because as we rise up to pray shortly, something will come upon you. A grace will rest upon you. That servants of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will go back to your altar and all of a sudden, a grace you have not seen before. Now listen to me. The Lord Jesus appeared to me many years ago. And when he appeared to me, among the many things that happened was that he stretched his hands towards me and light. There are two people now who will shout under the anointing. I just saw this by the Spirit, the power of God, two of you. Please help them. We will have ushers here. Two of you. Um, we're just getting to the impartation now. We'll be very fast over it. <laughs> so light came from him to me. And when that light came, you can imagine like taking the sun and putting it inside a human being. How I did not die is something I cannot understand. From that encounter, my life changed. It was like a straight line open from Genesis to Revelation. I started comprehending things I did not study. Scriptures started connecting. I would quote scriptures I could not remember studying. You believe what I'm telling you? And then in one of these visions, I was standing at an elevated place, like an upstairs. And I saw a whole generation of people and they were crying. They said, there's no food and there's no water. And I said, who was the cause? And they pointed to me. And I said, no, I, could, I wouldn't be that wicked. Why would I do that? And then I was about to go and rescue the people. But I was afraid. It looked like some people had wanted to hurt me or something of that sort. But I made up my mind that I would still go anyway. Now watch this. As soon as I opened the door, there was a giant gray bearded man. Now I know that that was a semblance of the spirit. He stretched his mighty hand and he said, place your hand. He said, we'll walk together. And I placed my hand. There's a reason why I'm telling you this. In one other encounter that will be necessary for what is about to happen here, the Lord gave me an instruction and he said to every city, every nation, and every territory I send you to, that light that came from me to you, there must be someone in that meeting that that same light will be transferred to. This is what he told me. And by the privilege of the election of grace, I've remained faithful to that call. And right now we're about to step into, many of you are about to step into virgin dimensions in the spirit. There are graces. Job said there is a path which no fowl knoweth, that the webs of the lion has not even gotten there. So I'm standing in faith with the angel over this house. Over the next two minutes, I'd like you to cry from your heart. Let there be a desperation. Go ahead. Let there be a desperation. If someone is under the anointing close to you, you just help them so they don't injure themselves. Go ahead and pray. Holy. Holy. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. O Shabala Kataparata Kaparadusiata, Sadabran Begabalaka Parusa Pratesha Bedekata. It's a new season for your ministry, a new season for your destiny. Holy, holy. 
sad is he who comes in the name of our God. I love him, I don't know. Hey, 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 hey. I love him, I don't know. hear me everyone called here into prophetic intercession a grace is about to rest upon you father I'm praying right now men and women who understand the mysteries of the altar let grace rest upon you now let grace rest upon you now capacity in the spirit to travail until you birth the program of God Capacity in the spirit to travail until you birth the program of God that you give him no rest until he establishes rest as a praise. Hallelujah! 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 When it was time for Saul to encounter the anointing for his destiny. The Bible says the donkey of Kish was missing. And they went three days looking for that donkey. And not finding it. They said, why do we go around wasting time? There is a man. Let's go and meet that man so that he will tell us. As soon as Samuel saw Saul, he had not even spoken to him the donkey started returning back home everything is possible depending on the influence you are under and here's what Saul said when Samuel met Saul Saul said go up I mean Samuel said go up and I will tell you what is in your heart and he took the oil and he said is it not because the Lord watch this has anointed you not to be king to be captain over his inheritance you know what that means to be captain over his resources to be captain over his program it's impossible for a territory to ignore you when he anoints you to be captain over his inheritance now here's what he said number one that the donkey you have been looking for has gone back on its own number two that on your way coming you will find three men holding two loaves of bread supplies it says they will greet you and they will give to you and when they do receive it you will need it for the journey number three that you will come to the garrison of the philistines and the hand of god will come upon you you will begin to prophesy it says when these things happen do as occasion pleases you because God is with you. Let me tell you the truth, ladies and gentlemen. There is no territory that cannot open up. Every territory has two lift gates. And it can open teeter and teeter. It can open depending on who speaks. This meeting tonight, I sense, is not just for the envoy. Even though it was organized by the envoy. But it's a prophetic meeting for the city of Leicester. There is, there is something God wants to tear down. The name of Jesus. Now hear me. Some of you here have been delayed. You know what delay is? That you only experience, you experience delay when the only thing that grows in your life is your age nothing else grows with it there is no justification to the investment that is made in your days it's a spirit it 
can trap men you hear people say i've been in a place for 10 years 20 years i have seen people who left back to africa from the united kingdom after decades with nothing to show can i cause delay by the power that raised christ from the dead let me release the grace for speed that grace i stand by the apostolic and the prophetic everyone who has been delayed i declare speed take that grace now help them please take that grace now take that grace now speed in your business speed in ministry speed in your destiny 10 years in one year 10 years in one year in the name of jesus christ hallelujah you know what speed is by the grace of god within two and a half years of the envoy coming to leicester look what god has done that is speed that today you can be glorifying god for your property believe me it is speed now hear me please upon the earth here the greatest resource is time because destiny is a function of time when the devil wants to abort destiny he does something to your time not just your health the greatest need of man from an earth standpoint is not opportunity is time because a dying man does not need you to teach him about finances a dying man does not need to learn any principle a dying man from scripture asks for more time anything can return when there is time and when time is against you as we say there are two ways that god remedies it number one is called restoration number two is called speed when god wants to help you he brings both restoration and speed the bible says and i will restore the years he can restore years hallelujah and isaac sowed in that land and reaped that same year everything you have lost relationships opportunities access by the power that raised christ from the dead i speak to you restore 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 be restored in the name of jesus restoration 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 of things lost restoration in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please while i'm praying is it all right that they bring the prayer request please everyone can you lift your prayer requests um now here's what i will request that we do for the sake of time don't worry your request is unique to you no one will read it but just do me a favor can you pass it to the person at your extreme left or right and then ushers let's just walk i understand there are overflows please someone can you help us attend to the overflows for those online i want you to connect we're about to pray over the overflows right now i mean over the request the bible says be anxious for nothing then it says in everything that means there is no matter that you cannot pray about in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says let your request be made known don't assume let your request be made known and this is the confidence we have that when we ask anything according to his will he heareth us there is a guarantee that if it is consistent with the will of god there are answers god is not just a prayer hearing god he's a prayer answering god unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come hallelujah whilst the prayers have been collated please if you are sick in your body we may not have time for testimonies i'm out of time but i have to minister to you wherever you are just place your hand you are trusting god for a healing miracle for yourself your spouse someone far or near lay your hands I've been a victim of sickness and infirmity before i know how devastating it can be you see please listen 
the reason why we minister healing is not just to show that you carry the healing anointing there is a law that your spirit can only coexist remain in your body when there is a threshold level of health the spirit of man cannot remain in his body under all conditions there is a health condition required and once your health level goes below that threshold whether you are prepared or not the spirit will have to leave you will call it death are we together so every time satan afflicts you it is an administration of death in the process if you are silent and you keep quiet it will graduate into death so when we minister to people it is part of God's commitment to give you longevity so that you can serve his purposes I am come he said that ye may have life and to have it more abundantly it's a statement that can be demonstrated when God heals he heals as a revelation of his love I have loved you with an everlasting love and with my loving kindness I have drawn you but he also heals to demonstrate that he's mighty that men would fear him place your hand father in the name of Jesus I pray for every man every woman connected online on site here at this auditorium and all the overflows who is being plagued or afflicted be it cancer be it high blood pressure migraine headaches bone conditions liver conditions organ failures respiratory conditions it doesn't matter in what form and what fashion what manner when you hung upon the tree you said it is finished and in the name that is above all names even by the power that quickened jesus raised him from the dead i declare be healed now yeah. i declare be healed now yeah. from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed in the name of Jesus eye conditions be healed ear conditions be healed peptic ulcer be healed lumbar problems be healed bone problems be healed autism be healed mental health challenges be healed digestive problems be healed blood conditions be healed organ failures be healed whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus I declare healing healing for you in the name of Jesus Christ let's have the prayer request so we'll do it fast please stretch your hands and begin to speak praying in the spirit just stretch your hands as a point of contact I'm going to go down on my knees standing in partnership with the angel over this house if you're yet to submit we'll still wait please go ahead come hallelujah I will bow my knees with Pastor Dele and we're going to agree over your request and while that happens yours is to receive as you pray in tongues remember I taught you reap as reap as they pray even in the spirit reap as reap as they pray even in the spirit Please receive for those who are coming. Reap as reap. This is the most accurate representation of your desires. And the Bible says, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, he said, Believe that thou receivest them and thou shalt have them. Thou shalt have them. Thou shalt have them. Lester, pray. Go ahead. The envoy, pray. Shabi shalaka parakato savres, sapende veleke parus, ebreke parakata shalabanda veleke pariata, rapato sapende parusiata, overturn, overturn, overturn. Give joy, birth miracles, let children come, let doors be opened. Let grace spread to the many and constant giving to abound to the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus.
Let grace spread through the many. Let grace spread through the many. Let it cause thanksgiving to abound to the glory of God. Causing thanksgiving to abound to the glory of God. Causing thanksgiving to abound to the glory of God. We we'll receive answers to all these prayers, to these petitions. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. How many of you believe that God answers prayers? Now, this right here, ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says we see in part, we prophesy in part. But this right here is the most accurate expression of your desires because you wrote them by yourself. Hallelujah. We do not have the faculty to know everything here. Even if revealed, we see in part. Are we together? It is the reason why this is about the most important part of this meeting. For someone right now, what you've written is to avert a death sentence. Could have come as a health condition. Some is a devourer. Some devourer eating up your finances. For some is a restoration of your marriage, your children. But it doesn't matter what the situation is. The Bible says, please listen to me. It says, this is the confidence that we have. That when we ask anything, I tell you, I sense a strong presence, even just in this place. There is nothing you cannot do. There's no mountain you cannot move. If you have said it, I know that he is mighty, not because I read it in the Bible alone. I have seen his mercy and his grace. I know what happens when God turns a man's captivity. Indeed, you will be like them that dream. So, Father, we stretch our hands by faith. As your body over Leicester, over the United Kingdom, over these requests, the Bible mandates that we make our requests known in the name that is above all names and by the power that raised Jesus from the dead. Every request here is turned to a testimony. Believe, every request is turned to a harvest of answers, a harvest of miracles, a harvest of testimonies. Now, the truth is that many of the things that you have written here depends on the ministry of men. God reaches down to men through men. In John chapter 5, when Jesus met the man at Bethesda and said, Why are you here? He said, I have no man. Not that I do not know where the answer is. I have no man to help me. That when the water is stirred to take me there, I have no man. There are many of you, you have men but you do not have the man assigned yet. I pray for you. Every human entity who was coming to partnership with heaven towards you for your sake to make these answers to happen in your life, we call them by prophecy. We call them by prophecy. And for someone I speak to you prophetically, we agree here that these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. You will see them no more forever. You will see them no more forever. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Lester, hear the word of the Lord. I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to the territory. Everything is alive, depending on who is speaking. I decree and declare, I speak to the two lift gates 
of this city by the power that raised Christ from the dead and the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic I speak to the spirits over this city that fights the program of God in the name that is above all names lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted ancient doors be ye lifted ancient doors in the name of Jesus Christ we declare that the program of God over Leicester comes to pass by the spirit of grace every church represented in Leicester catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire that revivals catch fire in the name of Jesus the spirits that control poverty mental health all kinds of degradations in marriage may cause you by the hand of God listen you can be in a city and yet in the spirit you are not in that city because if the gates are not opened you can be in a city and yet you are not there therefore I speak to the two leaf gates over this city a father open heater and tita open heater and tita in the name of Jesus Christ and now Jericho was shot nothing went in and nothing went out with all due respect and by the privilege of the election of grace I pray for every servant of the Lord Jesus Christ here every challenging ministry every mountain that has stood before you aborting the program of God fighting your apostleship in the name that is above all names I agree with you as one sent by God go forward run to a troop leap over walls run to a troop leap over walls let helpers arise for you financial helpers strong support systems in the name of Jesus no one under the sound of my voice will die before your time for in Jesus mighty name we pray give Jesus a big hand clap hallelujah amen please allow me for a minute to make one last time the altar call all men both saved and unsaved based on my teachings can be called the harvest do you know for the unsaved they are still the harvest for the saved as the planting of the Lord you are still called the harvest but for this meeting for the sake of one person within this auditorium and all the overflows perhaps you were here yesterday and whilst I made the call you didn't feel a need to come but on hearing me teach this morning through the worship through the prayer the Spirit of God is speaking to you that you need to make it right with Jesus whether you are falling online or you are here, I'm standing in faith as a final function before I drop the mic. I want to give you an opportunity to make it right with Jesus. It pays to know Jesus. It pays to love Jesus. It pays to serve Jesus. You cannot love a God you do not know. And it's impossible to not serve a God you know and love. It starts with knowing him then you love him when you know how far he went for you then you serve him all the days of your life hallelujah the man who saved Billy Graham became frustrated in ministry because it looked like the church was not growing ministry was not working and one day he preached casually so and made an altar call and everyone was looking at him he felt disappointed and then one young man just strode out and stood there determined to receive Jesus 
he would later confess himself, the old man, that he felt so disappointed. You know the name of the man who came out? Billy Graham. The man was making an altar call and was calling nations in a man. He would have called himself a failure. Many nations came out that day. They were so large he saw only one man. Perhaps another nation is about to come out. Don't rob the nations from coming out. If you are the one who holds the key as a steward over the salvation of nations, when he calls, it pays to hearken. I will count one to five. Wherever you are, come. One. Come. Whether you are making this decision for the first time, rededicating your life, come. There's always room at the cross. Come. Lester, is this the best we can do? Give them a big God bless you. Come. Come. To my left and to my right. Come. Apostle, I think I'm a good person. I'm a nice person. I don't look for trouble. I don't trouble anyone. Am I saved? No, sir. Come. You can be saved when you declare the Lordship of Jesus over your life. Let's give Jesus this big, big praise. We are presenting to him a harvest. A harvest of souls. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to thank all of you. It takes a lot of courage to come. But thank you for coming. Because Jesus said, come unto me all ye that are weary and heavy laden. And he says, I will give you rest. I want to thank you, my dear brothers and sisters. And that includes those who are making this decision. Perhaps you're watching me from your home, your office, watching as a rebroadcast. It is never too late when it has to do with the business of Jesus. And I want to thank you as I pray for these ones. I pray that you will connect also and make this decision. The Bible says as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Can I request that you lift your right hand as a sign of surrender to Jesus. And say this after me as loud and as clear as you can. Say Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that the power, say it, of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. I am a child of God. I go forward ever and backward never. Amen. Keep those beautiful hands lifted. Father, thank you for your precious people. By the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God. And in the name of Jesus, the grace that keeps, may that grace rest on you. I pray that you will love Jesus with all your heart and you will serve him all the days of your life. You will go forward ever and backward never in Jesus' name, I pray. You think Ahasuerus just decided to bless Mordecai? No. One thing I am sure of is that nothing on earth just happens. Favor does not just happen. People don't just like you. People don't just hate you. People don't just bless you. People don't just partner with you. Your church doesn't just grow. No, it's a reaction. Pastor, when I began to study the subject of empowerment because I didn't want to do ministry without genuine empowerment from the Spirit. You will be angry if you do ministry without empowerment because you will propose many things God can do and not be able to defend it. You will tell people God can turn your life around 
they will come thirsty and hungry and say, please, can he turn my life around? And then at the end of it, and you see, let me tell you something with members. They can discern limitation. Once they gauge you and they see that this is how exhausted you have been spiritually, they will respect you, but they will find solutions for their lives. This is not a pastor's conference, but I can tell you this with authority. Are we together? The woman left her fetcher and said, come see a man. Come see a man. That will always happen to you when people see genuine power. Let me tell you, there is no civilization invented even up till now that has the power to ignore genuine spiritual power. It doesn't matter what kind of technology. You may be criticized, but the effect of genuine power cannot be denied. Power to heal, power to transform men. That for someone seated here, that by the next time you come to testify and you just say all doors have opened, how do you ignore that? No, the end of all arguments. I am a firm believer in the power of results. Results. Men will bend over backwards and inconvenience themselves beyond proportion if there is a guarantee that they will get results. Many of our practices today that have attracted millions of people, whether medical practices, do you know that some of them, they can even tell you that this drug has a 35% chance, 20% chance, and yet people can still make do with it. That is how desperate people are for results. Are we together now? Yes. I'm saying that because as we rise up to pray shortly, something will come upon you. A grace will rest upon you. That servants of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will go back to your altar and all of a sudden, a grace you have not seen before. Now listen to me. The Lord Jesus appeared to me many years ago. And when he appeared to me, among the many things that happened was that he stretched his hands towards me and light. There are two people now who will shout under the anointing. I just saw this by the Spirit, the power of God, two of you. Please help them. Will we have ushers here? Two of you. Um, we're just getting to the impartation now. We'll be very fast over it. <laughs> so light came from him to me and when that light came you can imagine like taking the sun and putting it inside a human being how i did not die is something i cannot understand from that encounter my life changed it was like a straight line open from genesis to revelation i started comprehending things i did not study scripture started connecting I would quote scriptures I could not remember studying. You believe what I'm telling you? And then in one of these visions, I was standing at an elevated place, like an upstairs, and I saw a whole generation of people, and they were crying. They said, there's no food and there's no water. And I said, who was the cause? And they pointed to me. And I said, no, I, could, I wouldn't be that wicked. Why would I do that? And then I was about to go and rescue the people. But I was afraid. It looked like some people had wanted to hurt me or something of that sort. But I made up my mind that I would still go anyway. Now watch this. As soon as I opened the door, there was a giant gray-bearded man. Now I know that that was a semblance of the spirit. He stretched his mighty hand and he said, place your hand. He said, we'll walk together. And I placed my hand. There's a reason why I'm telling you this. In one other encounter that will be necessary for what is about to happen here, the Lord gave me an instruction and he said to every city, every nation, and every territory I send you to, that light that came from me to you, there must be someone in that meeting 
that that same light will be transferred to. This is what he told me. And by the privilege of the election of grace, I've remained faithful to that call. And right now, we're about to step into, many of you are about to step into virgin dimensions in the spirit. There are graces. Job said there is a path which no fowl knoweth. That the webs of the lion has not even gotten there. So I'm standing in faith with the angel over this house. Over the next two minutes, I'd like you to cry from your heart. Let there be a desperation. Go ahead. Let there be a desperation. If someone is under the anointing close to you, you just help them so they don't injure themselves. Go ahead and pray. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Oh, Shaba la kata parata kapara dusiata. Sada branda kapa la kaparus kapra tesha bade kapa. It's a new season for your ministry. A new season for your destiny. Oh, holy, holy, blessed is he. Who comes in the name of our God? The Lord is Madonna. The Lord is Madonna. The Lord is Madonna. The Lord is Madonna. Now hear me. Everyone calls here into prophetic intercession. A grace is about to rest upon you. Father, I'm praying right now. Men and women who understand the mysteries of the altar. Let grace rest upon you now. Let grace rest upon you now. Capacity in the spirit to travail. Until you birth the program of God. Capacity in the spirit to travail until you bet the program of God that you give him no rest until he establishes rest as a praise. Thank you for watching this powerful sermon. I hope you were blessed. Apostle Jesus, sermon is really a blessing to our generation, and our job is to keep praying for him that the Lord will keep him from falling. We encourage you not just to be a hearer of this word, but to be a doer of this word also do well to drop your comment on the comment section and do well to also share this video with your family and friends so that they can be blessed as well if you've not subscribed to our channel we encourage you to subscribe to our channel and god will bless you see you on our next video god bless you bye for now